Hey, hey, g'day guys. Welcome back to KC Creations. Um, I'm going to do some shaker molds today. And also I'm going to be doing the little animals again. And they're going to be in a green glitter. That is for Annie. She has requested green. So I'm going to be doing that. And anyone who works with molds might know if you don't or if you're new to doing this sticky tape is your best friend not when you've got gloves on but um, if you've got hair or fluff or anything like that it is great for removing it off your molds so it doesn't get in your pore now I've just got to remove it from my glove and we're set alright so I've already mixed everything up guys um, purely to save a bit of time, bring it to my resin um, and I let it sit to get rid of the bubbles and then I put in the glitter on these holders. I was going to use like a chunky sequin glitter but then I thought no I'll keep that for actually going in the shaker mold. So this is a, well let me pour them first because it's took a bit of time doing this and I don't want my, my resin to go off. Uh, we'll do maybe this one in the pink. I'll just go around my edges for air bubbles. Air bubbles are the bane of my existence when it comes to resin. Alright, get the last of this in here. Wow, that worked out really, really well. I was seriously thinking that these little shot glasses wouldn't be enough. I haven't used these molds before. I um, got them before I stopped pouring a year ago and um, then my health got to a point where I just couldn't do it anymore and I had to take a break and I didn't um, get a chance to use them. I'm hoping they turn out really pretty. They should. These molds, the potion bottle molds for the, the shaker molds that I'm doing, they are from Dino Nugget and I think she's in the US. I'm in Australia. Um, but she makes all the housings and makes and designs all her own molds and everything. So I got them through her. I will put a link in the description box and in the drop down menu for everybody. In case you want to go check out her stuff. There's some pretty cool stuff on there. There she does. Alright, next one I'm going to do is gold. And these molds are based off Harry Potter. So the Love Potion and all that. But I can't remember which one is which. I think this one here is the Liquid Luck. Pretty positive that's the Liquid Luck. So I'm going to do it in gold. Looks like the, uh, the shape of that one. This glitter, I just got it online. Um, can't really remember where I got it. But I'll check eBay. I don't think it was eBay. I don't think it was Amazon. Um, it's been that long since I bought it. Now this one here, it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to pick it up on this camera.
but it's from A1 Pigments. I've got a sample. From them. And I've had that for well, quite a while now. Um, well over a year. But this one is a purple holographic. It's gorgeous. Well, they're all holographic, but this one is just to die for. I do have any requested green. And I do have a, well, I think it's green. But I think it also leans towards like blue, sort of like an aqua. Which to me, you know, most people when they request a colour, they request that colour, um, you know, without it sort of verging on another hue. So I picked a different green. But I have it there and at the end of the video I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you all the glitter in a second when I finish with this in a packet. Probably be easier to, to pick it up than trying to pick it up in the resin. And I can maneuver that light better too. And hopefully, if I get time next week, any videos I do, <coughs> excuse me, um, from next week on, should be much better because I'm going to invest in more than likely a camera uh, with a mic and everything instead of just my phone. I did have one before my mum bought it for me but now like that was two years ago she bought that and not using it for 12 months now when I use it I know sooner turn it on and the battery's dying on me so it was just you know off Amazon which which I would have expected it to be a bit decent quality and not sort of park it that quickly but I don't know whether it sort of deteriorated through lack of use maybe I don't know but anyway it's gone to pot so next week uh, if I have time because I've got a pretty full schedule already um, but if I have time I'm gonna go around the shops and just see what they've got I'm gonna go and buy it in person this time instead of online and there's a couple of brands that I've been reviewing online that are recommended so I'm gonna go see what's out there and what they look like and hopefully be able to pick one up if they've got any in stock so hopefully the um, the videos will be better I do apologize but I'm sort of doing the best I can with what I've got um, here but it's a bit hard to sort of zoom in so much on them when you're doing them and everything. Once I finish, I can bring this down for a close up to have a look. Okay. That was silver. Now this is a blue. And I've got to mix more resin. I mixed up 100 grams, thinking that I would have quite a bit left over for these other molds. That's why I had all these other molds out. And, well, it's only. Just enough to do these followers. That pink one needs a little bit of, just a bit of clear on the back there. It wasn't quite enough in that glass for that one. It's a bigger mould. Could have done with a fraction more, but I can just put some, some in from the next batch, batch of makeup. <coughs> got this um game it's like you know your little handheld games years ago and it's a shaker mold so I'll put a little bit of leftover in that toss that one and a bit of silver yeah she's starting to set up on me it's going thick. And I've got a Yoda. 
um, they call it USB. So you pull the, I think you pull this head off, and it's got the USB in there. And what I did is I made a mold out of it. So I have that one sitting here, and the next lot of resin I mix. I've got some glow in the dark pigment there in a cup ready that I'm going to do Yoda in that. And all this stuff will be in my shop. Um, hopefully I'll have that finished setting up next week. I'll have the shop up and running and all this stuff will be in there. If anybody is interested in any of the pieces that I do. As soon as I finish this, these moulds, I'm going to go and finish a bag mould, bagger mould, dodo head, a bag tutorial that I'm doing. It's running with scissors. It's nearly finished. Up to uh, putting it all together now. So that's very exciting. Just uh, give these Hit with a little bit of heat just to eliminate any bubbles. There's a few on the top that I can see. Okay, where's this one? I need this to get down. This one's got a lot more areas for potential bubbles. Use a fraction more clear, just like a couple of drops on the top. All right, I'll pause you guys and I'll quickly mix up more. Okay, guys, well, I mixed up more, mixed up another 200 mils, and I put it in the glow in the dark paste. I'm going to put that in the Yoda mold. I'm just going to quickly, he has a lot of nooks and crevices on his design so I'm hoping um, I can eliminate the bubbles we'll see <laughs> we'll see when he sets eh? oh wow okay so he's not taking much resin at all Really? Not a lot at all. Okay, um, well I'll pour the little, little green fellas for Annie. Might, no if I move him over there you can't see. I'll move him out of the way. I'll move him over here a little bit. And a little hint, if you're pouring from a little cup or from a from anything really that doesn't have a spout, as you know resin doesn't like to play nice, use a stick. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Then you just run it and it just runs down the stick and therefore it doesn't go everywhere on you. I'll pour a bit more. Just getting out all the air bubbles. Pour a bit more glitter in there. Oh, not glitter, resin. Sorry for my arms, guys. <clears throat> they have little 
like the legs on the sides and they're really hard to make sure there's no bubbles in there One's clear, I can see that one. So is that one. Okay. Get the little blighters to sit straight. There we go. And then just top them off. That's them now. Now I've got this glow in the dark resin still, and I've got a big owl here. Well, it's not big, but compared to everything else on here at the moment, it is. So I was going to do it gold. So, what I might do is I don't know if you can see in there, but I might. I might pull this in. The resin pigment doesn't really dissolve. It uh, like stays powdery. It mixes in, so it's like it's like um if you've ever had wet sand. That's what it's like. Like when you've got wet sand and there's quite a bit of water in it. Yes, I need to move quick. My resin is starting to set, starting to go off. It's heating up. because I've got another shaker mold there um, that I put leftover resin from the lotus flowers in and it was only a little bit so I want to do a black behind that mm. yeah It's not a solid black, it could be if I put more in it, but it's heating up very, very quickly. It's going to be a bit of an opaque. Get out. Let me 
I made a divot in that. And if I hit it with the heat gun. Hang on guys, quick bit of noise. to do at least one. Oh, I've got to put more in there. I'm just going to put a bit more powder in there, that's fine. This is the glow-in-the-dark powder. I'll show it to you once I'm finished dealing with all this resin. It's very, very fine. I think I'll get one lotus flower out of that. What colour will I use? Um, I'm not going to this pretty. I need to take that glove off. It's got too much resin on it. And I don't want to. We've got this pretty holographic purple glitter. It's very, 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 very fine. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Okay. We. Why did it do that? I wonder. Didn't do that last time. Not enough there to work with now. Alright, so that's that done. Give it a squeeze under here. mess to clean up with that mold. That'll come off when it dries anyway. Alright, take this off. Okay, so the glitters <coughs> that I used, oh, I'll stick the lid on that one. That's the um, A1 Pigment Australia glitter. Absolutely gorgeous. And you don't need a lot of it at all. That one. And then this is the gold. Very minute, very fine they are. Fine holographic. And the pink. Can't really pick up the sparkle, can we? And then that is the blue, but it's sort of like a blue green. So it is, but this camera is showing it blue, but it is like a blue green. And then the silver. And this is the other the other one from A1 Pigments. It's mermaid. And on here it's showing blue too, but it's not. Um, oh, I might have a hole in that by the look of that. Somewhere? This will do just so to put it in a new bag. But it is an actual, it's a green blue. There, that's sort of showing more the true colour, but it, it is paler than that. It's showing more on the blue hue. But it's a green blue. But it wasn't what I would call a green green either so that's why I didn't use it and that's the little holographic purple that I used in the lotus flower all right guys oh and this is the pigment paste that no, not the pigment the glow in the dark 
it's mega fine too. And I'll light it up. <coughs> I'll uh, charge it. Now I'll just quickly turn out the light. Now there is other lights on in this area. I'm just turning out my lamp light. Look at that. Isn't it cool? So that's what I've done Yoda and the owl in. Uh, hopefully they'll turn out pretty awesome. As long as it's charged for a long time. But anyway, I'll leave it there for now. We'll be back in 24 hours to demold. And I'll quickly get in and just mix up. Only needs to be another maybe 20 mil just to top that one there off um, quickly before it sets too much. So, see you again soon. Now comes the fun part, guys. The demolding. I'm a little bit behind. I could have done them earlier, but I've had visitors. My daughter was here. It's pretty cool. Sit the mould upside down. Less chance of undesirable fluffy bits and what have you getting into it. Mold has a mark on it there, which I didn't see when I initially got it. It's left an imprint there. But once you put shaker bits in here, it's not going to be noticeable. Turned out great. No bubbles. Super happy about that. Oh, he turned out pretty. This is the A1 glitter on here. And I had a little bit left over after I'd done the two, two animals with it. So I stuck it into this mold. And this mould has um, shaker bits incorporated into it also. So I filled those and put the rest into the flat part of the mould. It's a pretty glitter that. I will say they're super easy to get out.
can hear the seal letting go. Just got to put his little face on. Little nose. So there's no air bubble defects at all, which is super cool. Little piggy. And his little feet and his ears and his nose and eyes and all that are really good. Here's the putty cat. His whiskers just here. Nope. This is the chicken. Leave no defects on his beak or his little feet. Cool, they turned out awesome. Turned out lovely too. This is the A1 glitter also. Very smooth. And the only thing left were these two fellas who I demolded just prior to starting the video. I'll just charge them. The owl turned out perfectly, but Yoda has got a few air bubble defects. So very, very bright. And I still do have lights on over behind me. I've just turned out the main lamp. There's Yoda. His face turned out perfect. I've just got to reopen that hole there for the key ring. But his ear here had an air bubble because it's not got the point. Same as this ear here. There's an air bubble. And his hands. His hands didn't form at all because there was air bubbles. So it had been that long. Like I made the mould, but then I never poured in the mould. And I didn't have the original one sitting here to look at. I couldn't find I tried to find it, but I didn't have it. And that would have just made it easier for me when I was going through with the stick because I would have known where to focus on to make sure there was no holes. See, I've got this one perfect. And I've got his face perfect. But it was just his ear and his hands here. So the rest of him, gorgeous detail on there. So I know now, I'll just keep that one out so I can look at it. But the owl, no defects whatsoever. It's 
So it turned out really well. No bubbles. And now as far as these fellas go, what I do, I'll just grab it and show you. So I have a clear plastic film and I have all these very thin and I have like heaps of different ones. So this is an apple. That's kiwi fruit. And there's strawberry. And then I have bow ties and snowflakes. Hearts. Plus I've got a heap of other different ones. And then I have these also. So there's little gems and everything in there. Dropped it now, can't pick it up. Different glitter. And then like sequins. These ones are circles, but then I have heaps of other different ones too in different shapes. And what I do is I pick out a variety of different things and you put them into this cavity here. And prior to that, you use paint pens, paint, anything like that to just define the outline here. So you go all the way around it to define all that outline. Then you pick out the bits you want, you put them in, you cut. I have clear plastic sheets, so I will cut it to that shape. And then I'll put it on with UV resin, seal it with UV resin, but I'll leave a small part open and I insert a needle with baby oil in there. And then you make sure you didn't get any baby oil here because resin won't stick with this baby oil. And then you top off that, seal it, and then you put another layer, you bubble the resin on top so it has a nice domed effect and then your shaker is completed either attach a I forget what they're called but it's a thing you can put on the back with resin to add a key ring or you can drill a hole and add a key ring and that's how I do it so I will finish those off I won't get them done tonight though but I will get them done and then um I can show them completed in another video. I show these two. So these two, see that little groove? Some of the shaker molds you get have that groove. And that is super cool because this is where's my needle? Here. And you fill this with the baby oil. And then it slots neatly in there. And you have your plastic film already over the top. So it slots neatly in there. You can fill it up. And then you pull it out. And then you just seal that with resin. So it's just a slight little indentation there. They're super cool when they're like that. Just makes it easier. So that's it, guys. I shall edit and upload this video for you guys. I know Annie's probably waiting on it because I have been held up. So bye for now, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.